Hey guys, welcome to this week's Team Spirit Union call, and it is October 11th. Super excited to be here with you guys today. Super excited to have some guest speakers. We have um, Rose Smith, Jessica Bryson, and Lisa Humphrey will be hopping on to join us later too. And I just love how things can change and, and work when you take a moment to just breathe and take a deep breath and just let the stress go. And I had a totally different approach for today's call until about a half hour ago. I messaged Rose and said I wasn't feeling great and I had a headache for a few days. And so I was running from um, time, you know, Jessica just said, I don't think I took a breath today. Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. And so I sat there and I was um, rushing around and I just stopped and I, I sat on my bed and I took a deep breath and I said, you know, you know, what, you know, God, what, what should I talk about today? What, how do I need to do this? And I got a totally different answer than what I was originally going to say. So um, here goes, here goes the new version, which um, made total sense to me. And um, we're going to talk about how we can utilize all that Beachbody has to offer to have a connection with your audience and with your customers. And of course, you're going to be helping them and your goal is for them to be successful with what they choose to join you with. Because if they're not successful in some way and haven't made any changes, then the chances of them staying with you and becoming a lifer is what we call the people. I look at my sponsorship drill down and I look at all the people who have been drinking psychology with me for seven years. And I, um, you know, send them little love notes and every single person that is still with me, I've made a deep connection with. I know so much about them and so much about their lives. And so, you know, we tried, you know, to do the derm and then that ended up not working out. But I started to look at what other products we have that we can um, use. Obviously the Beachbody Performance line, um, that's excellent for CrossFit people, for runners. It's excellent for anyone who does the mud runner things. Um, and it's just, that's going to appeal to them. Anyone that you're talking to who's a personal trainer, works in a gym, all of those are consumable products as well. And they um, are going to order every month. You fall in love with Energize, like you're hooked on that stuff. Like, I make a joke all the time, they put crack in there. Like, it makes me happy. Don't know what that's all about, but there's a happy supplement in there. And Serafina had a little baby sip yesterday, and she started giggling like crazy. And she's like, Mom, what did you give me? I'm like, I don't know, but maybe you shouldn't have it again because there's something in there. But the, my point is that take a moment to look through your dashboard as a new customer with new eyes, fresh eyes, all that song by the way, but look with fresh eyes and take a look at all that we have to offer. You know, people looking for cookbooks, the Fix Eight's awesome. People looking for a cooking show, BOD is awesome. And you guys all know this, but I think we forget and we get in our little comfortable comfort bubbles of um, a specific workout program in Shakeology. Now, Shakeology is the root of this business, but sometimes we need a bridge to connect people to Shakeology before they will commit to it. They may come in to this business through a different avenue. And one of those avenues potentially could be one of the greatest products that we have that is way underutilized, one of the ones that give you one of the highest commissions 
and the highest volume is the ultimate reset. And not just doing it one time, but I still use the Optimize, which is one of the best products we have. And I still use the detox long term. Why aren't I talking about that? You know, I'm taking them. They're on my countertop. I, I take them every day. So obviously you guys know I'm on day 11 of the ultimate reset. And yes, I was going to say why we need to detox and why it's great. And hopefully Rose will cover that. Um, and I'll touch upon that as well too. But I want to talk today about why. Why promote the ultimate reset and what does it do? And as I was sitting on my bed this morning, it just was so clear to me that there is a deeper connection to the people you work with when they go through the reset. They're having to give up exercise. So if they're used to that, that's going to be emotional for them. They're going to be detoxing which is going to purge all the stored up toxins in your body. Toxins from our environment and our water and our foods. But our body holds on to the most stress related toxins. Stress. I mean, can you really look at our world right now and say that there's not stress in people's lives? People hop on Facebook every day and there's another tragedy. You know, it seems heightened right now. People are stressed and they're afraid. So that wears on the body. It wears on your adrenal glands because they're going all the time, which then affects your cortisol. And when your cortisol is out of whack, then that creates weight gain, especially in the middle. And people are needing something to have more vitality in their life and to feel really super good. And when you eat the whole foods and the recipes that are designed in the ultimate reset, you feel great, but you're taking this journey for 21 days with someone where they're going to be releasing those toxins. And along with that comes stress that they're going to release grief, anger, they're going to kind of be all over the place and you're going to be there with them to help them get through that. They're going to have their detox physical symptoms and you're going to be there with them. It's, it's very intimate. Um, when I think of all the cleanses that I've run, I'm sorry, let me, all the challenge groups that I've run, the ultimate reset ones are the most intimate. People share the most pictures of their food. They share, um, you know, how nasty it is to drink the detox. You know, they share strategies for detoxing. They share when they get a headache. And it's a great time to also be behind the scenes connecting with them. How are you feeling? You know, are you, you know and, and walking them through um, what they need to do to take care of themselves during this cleanse. And so we're teaching self-care. Doing the ultimate reset is about self-care. It's about taking a breath, taking a moment to have a connection with our food, to have a connection with our body, and to listen to our body. And if it's done right, the few weeks that are after the reset are also really important because we're going to be teaching people this is an elimination program. You're eliminating things slowly over time, which is much better than a um, cold turkey approach. You're, they're slowly weaning off the foods that used to maybe be comfort food for them. And you're looking at emotional eating, which you can get into in your groups, um, or at least through personal development books, touch upon it. And then as they're, um, they're learning how to reprogram their definition of comfort food. You know, last night I had the roasted root medley and it was fantastic. And the beets were in the, the vibrant colors and the sweet potatoes that I, and, and there was so comforting to me. And I was like, geez, this is better than going running to chocolate cake. Because first of all, I'm not gonna feel like complete shit tomorrow. But second of all, I'm reprogramming right now that I can receive comfort from whole live foods. 
you know, and then of course the zucchini soup, I, you know, you guys know I rave about that all the time, but that's comforting. And with each spoonful, you can receive nourishment and comfort for your body. And so talk to the people that are doing it with you about all of this reprogramming to how they associate with food. And, um, walk through the whole process. So if you haven't done the ultimate reset, um, or if you haven't done it in a long time, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic way to also share your journey with your audience. Um, because there's just so much there to be sharing and Rose is doing a fantastic job about it. Um, I haven't gone as far as Rose is with her videos and stuff, but I'm getting private messages. People asking me what cleanse am I doing just from my pictures of my food and talking about how I feel. Um, it's from a business minded perspective. You always hear, you've probably heard since the day you entered this business, treat this business like a business, not taken advantage of what Beachbody has to offer with this cleanse is a mistake. It really is. And really think about that because of everything I just said, high commission, high volume, um, but most importantly, a, a deeper connection with our customers and most likely they will then stay with you much deeper than a five day free group much deeper than even a 21 day fix. Um, it's bringing it up a level or two levels where you become so intimate with your customers that they, they, they stay with you. You know, the chances are that they're going to stay with you. And when I looked at my downline purposely this morning and looked at the people who have been with me long term, almost all of them have done the reset with me at least once. And my, I'm here today to invite you to look at that and to look at what comes up for you when you think about doing the cleanse and look at what comes up for you when you think about promoting because that is going to reflect back to you some parts of you that are not yet healed when it comes to your personal development. You know, it, it, there may be some fear. There may be some money objections in there. There may, may be some um, time management reflection for you. If you, you know, if you're all over the place with time management, doing the reset's going to freak you out. Well, hello, that's reflecting back to you. That's an area in your life that you need to work on, um, not just for the reset, but in your entire business. So it's excellent for. Um, creating an increase in your business, for sure. Um, so those are my thoughts. And of course, from a holistic perspective, um, I, m many of you know, I've been a holistic practitioner specializing in colonics for 16 years. And my specialty was putting people on detoxes. So I have worked with people with all sorts of different cleanses for 16 years. And when, near the end of that career, the reset came along. Um, I really did my research and I said, wow, you know, I can't stand behind something until I do it. And my very first cleanse, I, I could not believe the difference I felt in my health. And I thought I, I was doing pretty good. And um, I had already lost a bunch of weight at that point with Shakeology and Turbo Jam. But when I added that reset in, it just was a game changer for me. Um, not only did it give my muscles a break so that my um, endurance and stamina for other workouts was better, but it also just um, got me over a plateau that I was on at that time. And it created that deeper love of, you know, fruits and vegetables for sure. And that desire to cook. So... I could probably talk for an hour about the detox, um, but what I'm gonna do is hand it over to Rose because um, she's gonna share what it's done for her and for her business. All right, thanks Lisa. And you touched upon like something I really did wanna touch upon too. So I wrote a bunch of notes, so I'll kind of go through that. 
Um, but for those of you who don't know me, uh, that don't know me, I've been a coach for about four and a half years. And the ultimate reset was, I believe, the second program after insanity. So I did insanity and then went into the ultimate reset. So you pretty much have to say, like, I would say the two hardest programs that we kind of have besides P90X, which I've never done. Um, but just like Lisa was saying, the ultimate reset really just is a whole nother beast in terms of you really learn about you and you learn about nutrition. And I get that from my team all the time. Like, how do you know about nutrition and how do you learn all this stuff? Like, I just learn by like diving in and like really kind of like just, you know, drinking the shake and whatever you want to call it. Um, but that is what gave me the the motivation and the push to say like, all right, like, man, like there was a lot of misconceptions and myths about food that I had no clue about. And it really just gave me that platform to say, all right, like if, if this was just 21 days, like imagine if I just kind of went on a whole personal development, just about, you know, nutrition and food and all that kind of stuff. And at the time I was, you know, I, crazy stuff was happening. Like my hair was falling out. I was having like acne all here. You know, I would go to the doctors and they would say, oh, you're just really, you're too healthy. I'm like, what a bunch of BS. <laughs> so I knew I personally had to do my own research and take this journey by myself because nobody was really advocating really what was the root of the problem. And it, it was food. It's ob it's, uh, it always leads back to food. Um, so I'm on day three and I'm like a hot mess today. Um, I don't cry and I've been like crying all day. So I don't know why. I know why. It's the cleanse. It's like getting rid of all the crap um, that's mentally been stored up in here. And kind of what Lisa was saying too, what I want to touch upon was that when you hold all that stress and all that worry in, it really does affect you. And you don't know, sorry, you don't know until you do something like this and like all those emotions just start kind of like flooding out of you. And with your cortisol levels being so high, like it kind of just clicked for me today. Like that's where I gain most of my weight is my belly. And I'm like, I don't understand. Like I do hammer and chisel and I do this and that but it's going right here. And, it, and then I'm 100% sure it's because I don't realize my stress levels and it's that cortisol that's taking place. So this is my third time I'm doing the Ultimate Reset. And each time I learn something new, the, the last time since, the, um, since this one was maybe two or three years ago. So it's been a little bit of time for me. And being a product of the product, like, yeah, Lisa was saying too, like Shakeology is awesome. The workouts are awesome. But I needed something else to get excited about again. Like I needed to kind of like refocus back in on me. And once you do that, like your business is going to start to soar again. So for me personally, like I said, it's probably been a little bit too long since the last time I've done it. I think you should definitely do it at least once a year. It's just going to give your focus. Um, you're just going to get that focus way more than – I personally think just doing, you know, 21 day fix or whatever, um, because it's just, it's just so different. And I also agree with Lisa, the connections in the group, you know, we're in a group now and it's, I would say some of us are, you know, long-term coaches and it's probably like our millionth challenge group. Like, ah, oh, I'm like, can I be in another group? Um, but I love being in it. I love talking in it because it's just that new that newness, that excitement, that, that journey. Um, and you start, you know, every day is kind of different and these people are, you know, going through it with you. It's just so different than doing a workout program and Shakeology. So I highly suggest, um, whether you have your own team or you're getting your own, you know, or your little team of two on board to do this with you, it definitely will strengthen your bond. And, you know, I was one of those coaches, um, Lisa's coaches that, you know, like I said, my second or third month, I was a coach, I did the ultimate reset. And hey, that could be why. Um, and I think, I don't know, Lisa, if you were doing it at the same time, or I think a lot of more, a lot, a lot of coaches back then, I think talk, we talked about it more. Um, it was just, I, I don't know why I think we, we got too much on the whole fitness aspect of things. Yeah, I agree. Lisa? yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, 
All right, so <laughs> let me just get some more of my little five second <laughs> emotional. <laughs> You just reminded me why it's different than doing the 21 day fix with the group is um, the other uni the, the thing that unifies the group is you're eating the same meal plan every single day for those 21 days. And you're eating the same meals. So there's more to talk about when you're eating. There's a connection there. Definitely. And the food is so good. And, and you just have to, you know, you got to give it a shot. It, you can't. You kind of have to, you know, face your fears of veggies and fruits and all that stuff. And and if you guys follow me, I've done like paleo and this and that. And I was having almost like a real hard time. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have quinoa. Like, what the freak is wrong with quinoa? Um, I had to like get over my like almost like my food issues of like categorizing like this food's bad, this food's good, this is good if you're doing ketosis, this food's good if you're doing paleo. It was just like a total mind. You know what? So this, I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do this from start to finish like I did it last time. And last time I got incredible results. And I'm sure Jessica will kind of share that with you guys when she speaks. Um, but also what I did want to talk about is the ultimate reset for your business can really make it explode. There's more PV. So if you guys don't know what PV is, it's personal volume. So there's more volume points attached to the ultimate reset challenge pack and to the products than anything else. So it's pretty much dollar for dollar, meaning like if the um, ultimate reset I think is like 250 for us, maybe like three or like 275 for customers. Just I was gonna share my computer screen, but my computer my internet was a little funky. Um, but you know just all you have to do is go into your, you know, teambeachbody.com, go to, go to shop, go to ultimate reset. And it will tell you like what volume you get for each. Um, I never wrote them down here. So I can remember, um, it'll tell you what you get for each product. So, you know, for example, like the soothe is 23 volume points. And for us to purchase it, it's 23 bucks. And it, you know, for a customer, it might be 30, but like Lisa was saying these, like I was using the soothe before I started on Monday. And definitely go, like, you just have to, you know, dive in, do your own research, you know, do your own uh, due diligence about the products to know, all right, what's in it and why is it different than all the other BS crap that's out there? Because, yeah, like, Isogenics has their own thing, blah, 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 blah. But just look at the ingredients. They're simple. Like, the soothe just has aloe and turmeric. That's it, guys. Um, Google, like we know, we all know, like aloe is really good for your, for your stomach. It coats the stomach lining. Um, Turmeric has like a million different um, health benefits for you. So, you know, just in that alone, even if you don't have stomach problems or even if you're not doing the cleanse, taking that is absolutely great for your health. And it's a way if people get, if people say no to a challenge pack, you know, hopefully you're asking the right questions when you're forming them of, you know, what's their goals? What, what's their um, problems? Like, what are their health issues? What's their biggest struggles? And, and if a challenge pack is not the right fit for them, maybe this is. And I've heard, you know, coaches say like, you know, people already have the containers. Like, people already have the 21-day fix. And then it's kind of like, all right, like, they're not going to be my customer because they've already had that type of stuff. They are they, or maybe you've ha you have customers that already have done that, but the, it's just like, all right, I've I've been there, I've done that, and now they're moving on to the next fad. Bring them back with the ultimate reset. See how you can connect them with this. And I personally think it's being a product of the product, right? Showing people that you're doing it and legit like sharing it as much as you can. So pretty much <laughs> my post all for three days was about a cleanse. And you know, on Sunday I did my live meal prep, which like tons of people watch that. I posted my five day like meal plan on my Instagram and Facebook stories. I'm just like blowing that up with like my food. I'll take like a picture, take like with the supplements. Um, and cool thing I learned from J Jatana, Jatana, I think is her name, Jatana Jackson, is on your Instagram stories, you can put a location. So if you guys haven't heard, we're going into the UK like in seven, six days. You can actually use the UK location just shrink it down. Nobody can see it. And I've been getting like 300 views just 
from people in the UK from using that like little location thing. So that's just kind of a little, a little side note. And you can put that in all of your posts and it doesn't even have to be UK. It could be, you know, anywhere obviously in the U S or Canada, but just to get different eyes on your stories. Cause I think that's a great asset to be using, just sharing and being a product, the product. So those volume points, like I said, are going to be absolutely a great way to grow your business, obviously, whether you do it, whether you get your team, whether you run a challenge group just for this, um, you have to put it out there, right? Like if people kind of like, if you're, I tell my, I say to my coaches, like you can't drink Shakeology and drink it in the closet. Like people have to know you drink this stuff. You know, you got to come out of the closet. So you have to come out of the closet and let people know about all this other great stuff that we have. So you have to speak about it. Um, I think that is all I wanted to talk about. Thank you. Oh my God, that was yeah. awesome. And I'm, I'm totally inspired by your posts that you've been doing um, about it. The um, one thing that I forgot to mention that you said something that reminded me is one of the things I did is I had a um, challenge group that has been running probably since the health bet that we did in January. And it's just um, long-term customers who have been drinking Chicology with me and we just kind of um, stay in touch. And then every once in a while I'll put in there, hey, do you guys want to actually do a program? And then we'll do a program. So we've been together for a while. And it kind of got a little stale around the end of August, um, beginning of September. And these are all customers and, and some of my coaches that drink the Shakeology. And so I, I put a post one day and I said, I'm going to be starting the um, Ultimate Reset Cleanse. And I'm going to be posting um, pictures. Do you guys mind if I invite other people into this group who are going to be doing the cleanse? You guys don't have to do the cleanse um, if you don't want to. Um, and there was two people who wanted information about it. But my point is that they're in there watching us right now post all of our food um, and sharing recipes. And um, not only is it really inspirational for them, but it's a good marketing technique because maybe by the end they'll decide that they want to do it um, because they've been watching. They've been interacting with us too on the post. So if you have a little group like that, that might be something to consider. All right, so we have Jessica Bryson with us today. And um, I love, love, love the way that you came into this business, Jess. So I'm really happy to um, have you here to share your story about it. Thank yes, you. thank you. I hope that Ev doesn't have a meltdown. I'm afraid it might be coming. She was up all night last night. So if she starts screaming and crying, I might throw it to Lisa um, just in case. But um, yeah, so I, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jess Bryson. I've been in this business for a little over four years now. Um, I came in um, as a coach, not really having any clue that there was a coaching business um, at all. I just happened to be working a part-time job at a very fancy um, retail store, if you know it. Um, it's Lululemon, and you don't make any money there, so I don't know why I was working there because you spend it all. But um, I was working one Saturday because I was a first grade teacher and I needed to work nights and weekends somewhere else to supplement. And um, this girl walks in on this beautiful Saturday strolling through in a pretty summer dress. And I was like, wow, her skin is beautiful. So I was supposed to be folding pants and talking about pants, but I, as she walked by and then she walked by again and I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, what skincare line do you use? And she's like, oh, well, I don't really have a regimen. She goes, I actually, I said, your skin is beautiful. Um, you're glowing. There's something like, you look like dewy. Like, you know that beautiful dewy look people have? I just look sweaty, but people look dewy and pretty. And so I was like, you have that like glisten. And it was like a summer glow and it wasn't even really summer yet. And she said, well, I just finished a, a detox for 21 days. And I was like, oh my God no thanks. And she's like, well, no, you know, I'm, I'm eating food. And we started talking more about pooping than most people talk on their first conversation as complete strangers. But we shared a lot of information over folding pants at Lululemon. 
and we had a lot in common. We um, shared a lot with <laughs> digestive issues, and um, for me, I'm someone who has suffered with digestive issues my entire life. Um, I really didn't know life without having to worry about where the bathroom was. Um, you know, I almost did not become a teacher because I knew I would be in a classroom alone and there would be moments when I would have to run to the bathroom and I wouldn't be able to leave my class. So um, hindering my life is like, to say the least, that my life was driven by my digestive issues. So um, I started talking to this girl and she asked me if, if I had ever heard about um, Shakeology and it happened to be Rose who just spoke. If you don't know, she's my coach. And thank God she walked into that store that day looking all dewy and pretty because um, ever since then, I've done the ultimate reset one, two, three, four, five times. And you guys are making me want to do it a sixth time because um, it, it's amazing. And it's really hard to put into words what it did for me because I had tried every diet. I had gone to every specialist. And I had, by the age of 25, I had five colonoscopies and three endoscopies. And I was always just told it was IBS. And my last appointment, I'll never forget, um, it was finally FDA approved that they put out two new prescriptions for IBS. And so I was sitting there at the doctor's office saying, things have not gotten better. Um, it's still running my life and I have like two partners of teachers that I just give them a look and they know they can come stand in the middle of the hallway and I could run to the bathroom. Like that's how I was living my life. And so they wrote me a script that day and I did it one time and it made me so sick, worse than I ever was before. And I said, that's it. I do not want to have to be on medication the rest of my life. There has to be something else. And so when she mentioned that, some of her um, IBS issues improved, I said to Dan, hands down, I need to do it. Um, she was, you know, fit and I didn't think that, she, we didn't really talk too much about losing a lot of weight. That wasn't really the goal. Um, I was about to be married. So she said, you might lose a few pounds. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'd love to lose a few pounds for my wedding dress. Um, so that was like a perk. I honestly wanted to have that moment to enjoy when I was walking down the aisle of looking at my husband and knowing that that's all I needed to think about and not worrying about walking down the aisle, getting up there and not being able to leave in the middle of the ceremony. Like that, my husband asked me to marry him. That was my second thought. I said, yes, first thought. Second thought was, oh Lord, I have to like go somewhere, be in front of a crowd and not be able to step away if I need to. So imagine that, that, life of living by the bathroom. I always knew there was a bathroom in a three mile radius wherever I was driving. Um, that was my life. And I did this cleanse and I did it to a T from start to finish in June of 2013, I guess it was. And um, I couldn't believe how I felt. I didn't even really feel like I was losing that much weight. My clothing was fitting differently. But what I could feel was Number one, a sense of control. I felt like I could actually control what I was eating. Um, prior to that, there were weeks when I lived off of bagels because it was the only thing that didn't upset my stomach or white rice with soy sauce, which is like, don't, I obviously would not recommend that to anyone now, but that was my regular meal. I was malnourished, um, you know, before Shakeology came in, into my life, but I ate what didn't upset my stomach or I wouldn't eat until lunchtime because then I knew I had a special after lunch and I could, um, you know, go to the bathroom then. So for me, it was, it was all about the internal, um, transformation and, so a lot of times I do talk about digestive issues because that truly is where this program changed my life. Um, I still have flare-ups here and there, but when I start to have those, I look at what I'm really eating again and what I what worked for me, which was the reset and that um, more vegan um, style of eating. And when I go back to it, it's when I start to feel better. So I, I so I've done it five times is because I do it to regain that control, to remind myself of what works for me. And it helps me kind of kickstart things and, and shed some weight. You know, the last time that I did it was right before we went on vacation after I had Evelyn. So I couldn't do it when I was breastfeeding. I had, to, I was a little nervous about it. I had to make a couple alterations to it. So 
Um, I ended up doing it in March of this past year and I put on a bikini again, like months of being postpartum. I think it was six months, like may not be the, the best looking bikini shot, but Hey, the bikini was on and it fit. So, um, and I was comfortable enough to wear it and it made me just, it reminded me of how good you can feel. I was all out of whack after breastfeeding, after being pregnant. It really did help me kickstart things the right direction and, and get back on track. Um, so the first two challenge groups I actually ran were the ultimate reset challenge group because it was the only program I knew. <laughs> so, um, I was like, Hey, you know, I had these great results. I posted them and that's why honestly, my first couple of paychecks, I was like, this coaching stuff is amazing. I had like, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 people buy, um, ultimate reset challenge pack. So my first, when people say their first paycheck as a coach was zero, Mine was like $500 and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going shopping for my new clothes that now fit. Um, but it just, it does tremendous things for your business, but more so than anything, it does tremendous things for your body. Um, and it's just something I revisit a couple times since I started a couple times a year because it's done such amazing things for me. Um, healing from the inside out and being able to share that with people. And when you start talking about irritable bowel syndrome, a lot more people suffer than are willing to put it out there. So you relate to so many people who are making sure they know that three mile radius of a bathroom or wherever they go, locate the bathroom first because it's driving their, their life. It's, it's how they live. And, um, it's no way to live once you see what's on the other side. So that's kind of, my story of what the reset's done for me. Um, now I really want to do it like tomorrow. So you guys, you gave me the bug again. <laughs> I need to, I need to do it again. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Thank you so much, Jess. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You just reminded me, I took so many notes and I was looking up some stuff. You just reminded me of how personally in my business, I've gotten away from talking about um, those health transformations. Um, of, I, I think that we get focused on the weight loss so much in this business and that doesn't resonate with a lot of people. And when we get back to talking about health, you know, what it does for us, um, you know, I had IBS too. I had it um, grown all up, it's completely gone. Um, and you're right, so many people have that. So many people have, um, skin issues, all of that. Um, the, the first time I did the reset, um, I had Hashimoto's when I was in my 20s. I had my thyroid removed. And then when Serafina was um, four, I got diagnosed with mono. It was my first year in this coaching business. And so I always have these glands that swell up and um, they react to food. And the first time I did the reset, all of the inflammation in my glandular system completely went away. And it reduced overall inflammation in my body. But I was just looking at, um, I'll post it in the, in the team page. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> and, um, there's clinical trials um, that they have conducted. Beachbody paid for a third party clinical study um, and had participants, and it significantly decreases um, the big issues um, digestive issues. It significantly lowers cholesterol in a very short period of time. It balances up hormones um, for women. Um, it greatly increases testosterone in men. Um, I remember um, Keith Callahan did it with me the first time we did it, and um, his testosterone went up like 70 points. Um, and that's only for men. It doesn't go up for women, which is good. Um, it significantly reduces blood pressure, blood sugar, helps with inflammation. Like you can look up all the clinical studies too, and that's an angle just listening to you, Jess. That's a complete health transformation. That's not high, I lost weight. That's you've changed your health. And I think that that's a great reminder for all of us to be focusing more on that because I can tell you, you can look it up, but I, my guess is it's probably like a billion people at least that suffer from IBS of some sort or have been diagnosed with that. 
Lisa is on. Um, yay. So um, I asked Lisa Humphrey to be on with us today that um, because she's doing the reset with us for the very first time. And prior to, she was nervous. And we hopped on the phone and right before she started or the day one. And I, and I said, why are you so nervous? And she said a lot of people um, were saying, um, no, don't do it. It's really hard. And her results and her experience for these first um, 11 days, um, is that what we're on? Anyway, she'll talk. Um, and um, have been like outstanding. So I wanted someone scared to do it, apprehensive to do it, and is doing it to be on the call to share with you guys. So hey, Lise. Hi, guys. I just finished my soup. So good. So like, okay, I was scared shitless, seriously, to try this. Because like Lisa just said, everybody was saying to me like, oh, it's gonna be really hard. Um, I would watch YouTube videos and it's like, it, this was really tough. Like, so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Like, there's no way. So um, I, ha I bought it in July um, or maybe June, whatever. And it's been sitting in a closet in my house since then. So I was like, I, I need to like use this. And I saw Rose post an our team page, you know, Lisa Hansen is going to do it. Um, if anybody wants to do it, I was like, I'm freaking taking it out. I was like, finally, like I have no weddings. I have no, you know, whatever. I just, you know, a couple events on the weekends, but I was like, this is like a good timing, but there's really never good timing because <laughs> I still have christenings and football and this and that. But and like, I have two kids, so I was a little worried about how is it going to be with, you know, prepping all the food, because it is a lot, but like, I kind of had to take it day by day, instead of like, I'm used to prepping for a week on Sunday and like having my stuff. So now I just prep for the next day. And what I did is when you, when you get the schedule, um, when you get the meal plan and everything, I wrote down what I was having on what day, and then what I could double, what I could triple. And then I would make like certain things, certain nights. So it is not even as bad. The first week was a little harder, but since then it got a little easier for me. But I uh, messaged Jess Bryson and I was like, like, do I have to make all these meals? Like, I just want to do the reset and the crunch. Like, that's it. And she, no, just try it. Like, do them all. That was before I talked to you, Lisa. And she's like, just try to do the whole thing. So I did. I was like, all right, I'm going to try it. And if there's something I don't like, then I'll sub in something from the crunch, which I think is like really good advice. Um, so I've been like trying all these new things. The first week I lost nine pounds so far. I'm still there. We're on day 10 today. Yeah. I'm like super excited because since July, I haven't lost anything. I think I almost even started gaining some weight and I'm like, I don't understand how this is working. Like I'm eating right now. I'm realizing like, no, I wasn't. Um, so I thought I was eating right and I was working out every day. Like, and I don't understand like, how am I not losing weight? And the last, my first pregnancy, my, my answer was 21 day fix. And I did all the containers and that's how I, I lost weight. But this time I didn't realize like I was still like giving into like, not even, they weren't even cravings, but I was still giving into letting myself have whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. Like snack time in school, I would always have the goldfish and the pretzels with the kids. Like I was so worried, like, how am I going to eat lunch without eating those goldfish and those pretzels with them. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this. Right. Like, but of course that I'm like, yes, I am. I could do this. I could do this. So I have to say like, it is not hard at all for me. I don't know. I was really expecting it to be super hard because when I would put myself on a 21 day fix, I was like, all right. And then I would be cheating and eating and whatever. But now that I'm doing this, like I'm, I don't even want it. I don't, I don't even think that I could even, if the donut was in front of me, like tomorrow, I don't even think that I would want to have it. Like, I, I don't know, like it's just changing things that way and really making you realize like your, the relationship that you have with food and like changing the relationship with food throughout this program. So that's one of the reasons why I am really liking it so far. Uh, everybody's like, the, the people that were telling me how hard it is, they're like, oh, just wait, wait till the third week when there's no this. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I think I'm okay. <laughs> but, um, but we'll see. So far, so good. So. I'm loving it, except for I do not like the power greens at all, but I found a way to kind of make them a little better, but um, people are now like, say, well, 
message me because I'm putting it all on my Instagram story. And they're like, what, what time are you having the power greens today? I'm like, seriously? Like, because the first time I'm like gagging when I'm having it, but like, I love everything else. But then I went on the other day and said how like I figured out a way to make it where I like it better. So yeah, I did. I added more water and add some lemon to it. And then I'm like, I don't understand how adding more water to this drink that's terrible and making it last longer is going to be better. But it did work. Um, and then also a Facebook group besides the one that we're in together. There's um, an Ultimate Reset Facebook group where with like the actual Ultimate Reset and people from Beachbody will like message you or comment on your thread if there's something you know that they see that they can answer for you so that's helpful too i think that how the ultimate reset has its whole own website and they send you i get a daily email from them um and i wasn't on before i'm not sure what you said lisa that worked but um that facebook group like they have phase one phase two and phase three that but just join the phase one group and that has been super helpful too you could read everybody else's things and like what they're thinking about it um, and how they did, they're posting the results all the time. So that's pretty cool to check out um, if anybody was thinking about doing it. But so far, so good over here. Um, I, so we'll see how we'll see how we do. Congratulations, Lisa. So excited. Nine pounds in 10 days. That's amazing. Um, when you said that, um, you know, you didn't lose the 21 day fix and everything um there's something to be said about we were talking about stress earlier and those high intensity workouts put a lot of stress on the body they actually help to raise cortisol and for a lot of women especially after they've had children um what worked before doesn't work anymore and so this reset is balancing out your hormones it's um calming down your adrenals which is then lowering your co your cortisol which is then why you're also eating more food but you're losing because the way the program works is it it balances out our um whole system and we're not putting added stress on the body by doing intense workouts and so when you have people who have been doing the 21 day fix over and over and they're not having results anymore that's typically when a red flag goes up for me and I say something's going on, usually with their adrenals, cortisol, and hormones, 21 day fix is no longer a good option for them. Probably can go back to it when they go into maintenance, but that's when I would recommend the reset for them. And you just proved it. You're proving it right now. So thank you. All right, Rose or Jess or anyone have any closing? I do have to say, um, regarding the hormones, like after I had Ev, and I knew the weight was going to be very difficult to, to come off, but um, I was waiting for my period to start, which is funny enough. And then I had stopped breastfeeding a little while before, and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I still felt way off in every way of my body. And then I did um, the reset in the week I finished, I got my period. So I had found out that three other beach body coaches who were having a lot of trouble with their hormones <laughs> post baby, as soon as they finished it, they got their period. So talk about like totally resetting and getting things back where they need to be. Um, you know, that was one major thing I wanted to talk about. And, you know, speaking of a transformation of like an internal transformation, I want to also just talk about getting in control of your health for not only yourself, but for your marriage. Because quick story, when Dan first wanted to date me and was, you know, all about me, um, he, <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but he kept wanting to pick me up to take me out on dates. And every time he tried to arrange to come get me, I had to tell him, oh no, I have to run this errand, I'll meet you there. So in the beginning, he honestly did not think that I liked him because I wouldn't let him pick me up because if we were driving and I had to stop to go to the bathroom, like, can you imagine? So having that change now and being able to hop in the car with my husband and not have that fear of, like, running to the bathroom, I just have to say, like, I can talk about going to the bathroom all day long because I don't have to worry about it anymore. So when you think something is silly to you to share – but it's improved your lifestyle or your quality of life, 
you don't know how many people after I first shared that I no longer suffer from severely debilitating IBS symptoms that reached out to me and said, oh my God, you too. So when you, you know, just something that may seem insignificant or that you wouldn't think would affect other people, it does. And if it's affecting your life and you've found a way to improve it, it's worth sharing and inviting other people to see if it would help improve their life too. So even from like a non-health standpoint, I'm able to now drive in the car with my husband and not worry about having to stop at the closest drive through So um, just wanted to share that. I love all that, and thank you. So we have covered so much today, so many different angles. Hopefully we reminded everybody that we're in a health business. Um, yes, weight loss and fitness is part of it, but there's a deeper connection when you actually dramatically help people change their lives. Um, and the people who are here with us now, um, look, Jess's whole life has changed, Lisa's is changing now, Rose has changed, we've all chatted about it. Um, but the last point I wanna just, before we close, is cleanses are huge right now in the market. So last month I did a post about why aren't we using Derm? You know, because Rodent and Fields is huge right now and skincare lines are huge right now and hey, wait a minute, we have something to offer that's really good. Well, we don't any longer, but then it got me thinking, wait a minute, you can't go on Instagram or even any, any um, website without people talking about cleansing. Cleansing is a thing that a lot of people are doing right now. Juice cleanses, green smoothie cleanses, and um, those are harsh for a lot of people. We have a real food, whole food meals based cleanse that we're cleansing through food and some supplements, but um, that's a whole market that we haven't even tapped into as a team that we really need to look at is um, the cleansers. So um, thank you guys so much. I hope you got some really good nuggets uh, to think about with not only where you're gonna take your next level of health and where you're gonna help your customers, but a way to also financially propel your business to the level that you want to be and start earning the money that you want to be and uh, be making those $500 checks in your first month like Jess did um, from the reset. So if you have any questions at all, many of us have done it many times. Marianne Volpe and myself are practitioners. Um, we can answer any questions for you. Anybody who wants to co-run a group, give me a shout out. I'd be more than happy to do it with you. Uh, partner up with other people. Um, seriously, give it great consideration because um, if you're not, you're totally missing a whole section of the market that you could be helping to dramatically change their health. So thanks guys and thanks Jess, Rose, and Lisa for being here. Bye.